Hi, I want to welcome you to my brand new channel. If you know me already from Instagram or TikTok, I really want to welcome you here. And if you don't, my name is Kat. I am an electrical engineer. And I decided to start this channel because I wanted to teach everybody about electronics. I love electronics. They are one of my greatest passions and hobbies, even though it also is my job. Um, and so I love teaching about the basics. I love teaching about how it's really not as scary as it sounds. Um, and also just different things about my career. What is it that an electrical engineer even does? How is it that I even got here? How was my college experience? How is my current full-time engineering experience? So if that's something that is interesting to you, please feel free to stick around. All right, so let's dive in with the video. How is it that I decided to become an electrical engineer? Okay, so if you already know me from somewhere, then you know that I have two huge passions, which are outer space and engineering. These two passions I have carried with me pretty much all my life. Ever since I was a child, I have had huge interests in both engineering and space. However, I did not always know what engineering was, but the things that I was interested in were at the root engineering. When I was little, I remember that my favorite website was How Stuff Works. And I was absolutely obsessed with finding out how things worked, but specifically, I was particularly curious about all of the electronics around my house. I think that my biggest interest was cameras and uh, computers because I couldn't understand as a child, how is it that these things work? As a camera, how is it that we can grab this camera, take a picture, and see a digital image of what we are actually looking at or a computer how is it that we're able to communicate with other people or pull up an internet search i mean that made absolutely no sense to me and i decided that i wanted to one day not only understand how these things worked at a fundamental level i wanted to be able to build my own someday like I said, I also have loved space since I can remember. I don't actually remember a point in my life where I wasn't looking up at the sky and just wondering about all the different stars, the planets. Um, I wanted to know all of the facts about our solar system. I wanted to know everything about Mars, everything about the moon. So that's always been a huge part of my life. And it wasn't really until I got older that I started to think about, okay, so we have all of these different planetary bodies, but how are we investigating them? How is it that we're doing all of the science, all of these different missions that are going to these planets? Who is working on that? Um, that's not something that I, I came to until I was older, probably around high school age. But before that, I still had a huge interest in technology, engineering, particularly electricity. I loved electricity and I had so many questions my mom tells me that I used to really annoy her because I was always asking all kinds of questions and sometimes it got to a point where she didn't know the answer anymore, but I was relentless. I needed to know how does electricity work? What is electricity? What actually is happening when electricity is running through a circuit? How come sometimes when we unplug something, it doesn't just automatically turn off? Sometimes things are still working and you can still see lights in the system before it shuts down why i needed to know why is that happening and so when i got to high school and i started taking physics and i was doing the electricity and magnetism portion of my physics class as well as the circuits portion i just really felt at home i was finally getting the answers to all of the questions that i've had all my life and even though i had spent a lot of my youth searching for these answers and I had in a way some basic answers for these questions it was finally coming together all of the math was there all of the theory was there and I was beginning to understand so that's when I decided that I wanted to be an electrical engineer because I was finally understanding how it is that these things work and how it is that we can use these concepts to build new things. But I didn't just decide, okay, I'm going to be an electrical engineer. I decided I'm going to be an electrical engineer for space systems, because that's something else that I had always been really interested in. 
and I was also beginning to discover about all of the different robotic missions that were going on, for example, the rovers on Mars, um, the different missions that were going to planets. So I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to contribute to that. And I knew that those missions used electricity. And so I wanted to be a part of the groups that were developing these missions and learning new things about space and our planets um, through technology. So that's when I decided that I was going to be an electrical engineer, primarily focused on space systems. Now, the journey was not easy by any means. I actually struggled a lot when it came to my physics class. I took my first physics class when I was a junior in high school. And, you know, I wasn't a perfect student when it came to physics. I wasn't getting straight A's when it came to physics, but I loved it and I really wanted to understand and I worked really, really hard at it. I remember we had uh, practice workbooks that were supposed to be for the classroom to do practice problems. And I would borrow one of them from my teacher and take it home with me um, and do extra problems, even though they weren't actually assigned as homework or anything but I just really wanted to understand. For the first time, I was getting the answers that I wanted, and even though it was really hard and it was very difficult to get the hang of it, I really, really wanted it. So I worked really hard, and eventually I enrolled in my AP level physics class, which again, I wasn't perfect at. I didn't get straight A's. I wasn't, you know, acing every test, but I loved it so much. So, and the same thing goes with math. I wasn't a perfect student when it came to math either. I did get good grades, you know, at the end of the day, but that was through a lot of hard work. It wasn't easy for me. I didn't just show up to class and learn and then go home, do the homework and get A's in, in my tests. That's not the way that it worked. But I had a big passion for it. And I knew that even though it was difficult, it was what I wanted to do. So I really dedicated a lot of time to both of these classes um, so that I could eventually be able to form a strong foundation for this field. Eventually I got to UCLA and at first I struggled a lot there too because UCLA is on what is known as the quarter system. So you have about 10 weeks and then a finals week. This was very difficult for me because learning in such a fast paced environment was just not something that I was used to but I worked really hard again and I did go through some times where I wasn't sure whether electrical engineering was still the right thing for me and I think a lot of that just had to do with not knowing enough about what is it exactly that an electrical engineer does on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I, I think that for a while it was very hard for me to actually get a straight answer about what it is that an electrical engineer can do for the space industry, which is one of the big reasons why I decided to start this channel because I want to be able to answer a lot of those questions that I also had when I was a student for people who might have those questions today. So that's a little bit about my journey to engineering. It really started from a very young age, but not everybody is like that. It is absolutely totally normal to get to it later in life. I know lots of co-workers who actually didn't even switch onto engineering until their mid or late 20s. Um, I also know people who decided engineering was for them for as long as they can remember. And so it doesn't really, it, it doesn't follow a specific formula or there's no one specific path to it. That's just my personal story. And I hope that it helped you. Thank you so much for watching.